Hello my beautiful bombshells and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Cherry Jess and in today's video we're going to be doing April's BoxyCharm unboxing. Also be sure to stick around to the end of this video so you can get the details on how to enter my very first Cherry Luxe Beauty giveaway. So in the meantime, let's get into the video. Okay, so in today's video we're going to be unboxing the um, April BoxyCharm boxes in the base box and the premium box and I purchased about five or six additional I think it's five or six might be more than that additional items from the add-on sale that they had so let's start with the base box base box it's this one here so the first item on here in the base box is the benefit cosmetics the pore freshenal face primer here we go and this is the regular one they had uh, uh, three different variations this is the regular variation so uh this is my primer for today and that is a value of 32 dollars and it says it quickly minimizes the appearance of pores and fine lines for smoother than smooth skin apply this silky lightweight balm alone under or over makeup the translucent formula contains a vitamin e derivative known to protect the skin from free radicals that's what it is it's 32 dollars let's try it out it's kind of like a tan color so let's put this on i need some more i have one hand with nails and one went out so during my experimentation i realized after the first hand it wasn't looking good so i just left it but now i can't get this one off okay <laughs> So this is the quarantine edition of <laughs> the BoxyCharm unboxing. Okay, so that's the first item I got. That's done. All right, so the next item on here that I have is the Zoeva eyeshadow palette. It says the Zoeva eyeshadow palette offers a range of highly pigmented and easy to blend shadows in tempting hues for ultra, ultra, sorry, glamorous makeup looks. Formulation of the eyeshadows is enriched with vitamin E and it is $28. So this is without the unicorn here. This is what it looks like. Oh, there goes the insert. And these are the colors. This is the variation that I got. There was like about six variations of different ones. Um, some had some more colors, others were more neutral, but more on the bronzier side than, than toppy side, I guess this would be. I am not a fan of this one. Uh, I don't like any of the colors. I don't like anything about it. So I will be um, giving this away. I'll probably put this in a future uh, giveaway box for one of you guys. So um, if you're interested, leave a comment below. So the next thing I have uh, is the Iconic London Illuminator. All right, so it says this concentrated liquid shimmer can be added to your foundation primer or moisturizer or simply use as as on its own as a super highlighted glow every drop of this super concentrated shimmer elixir it does have a nice little dropper glides on smoothly to bestow an ultra blendable glow and this is a retail value of 41 dollars now I have been wanting one of these and I've been hesitating on buying it because these are just illuminating drops. So I didn't want to spend, sorry, uh, $41 on illuminating drops. So I decided I would just wait on this and now I got one in the box and the color on it, I don't see a color, it's just illuminator. It doesn't have a color. So we'll try that out in a second. All right, so the next thing I have is the lavish five piece neon eye brush collection this is actually really cute i liked it i wasn't upset about about not receiving it so i was okay with it, it is a must have for all have all in one cruelty free makeup brush collection that includes essential eye brushes you need to achieve an everyday or dramatic look the retail value of this is 29.99 all right so these are the brushes um all the different colors and they all have um their stuff written on it like this one it says what's to say eight eye shading pencil tapered blending fine liner this one would be the brow groomer all right and the last thing in the box uh was the baddington lashes harlow 3d silk lash with mini glue this 3d lash provides dramatic length and volume and if you're looking to make a statement this is the lash for you the 3d lash effect mimics the growth structure of your lashes for the ultimate and natural glamour 
and it includes a mini glue. I will not use the mini glue that is included with it. I will use my own glue, but I will use the lashes. I will cut them and trim them to my size, however they are when it, the time comes. But these are a retail value of $31. I wasn't necessarily disappointed, but I thought I, instead of being based on the quiz that they give you from BoxyCharm, I would have thought they would have given me um, the brighter one of these because I do tend to go for the brighter colors. Don't know why I would get this one, but whatever. So this one was okay, I could deal with that. So let's take that foam thing out. I will use the brushes and the eyelashes and the illuminator and I already used the primer. Let's move on to the premium box. What is wrong with this? Why is it not closing? Um, this is the premium box. As you can see, it says premium right on it. So this is the April premium box. In the premium box, let me take this foam insert out. It's always in my way there. Uh, I was very highly disappointed very highly disappointed with my box and I was actually pissed because I'm like what the hell happened I feel like they forgot about my box and at the end of it all threw together whatever was left over that they hadn't sent to anyone else and I got what was left so in the premium box um, sneak peeks that I have been seeing there, were, there was three palettes that were supposed to be one of the three would have been included in the box and it was the Smashbox LA cover shot eyeshadow palette the Luna Beauty Life's a Drag eyeshadow palette or the Pure by Barbie uh, Endless Possibilities eyeshadow palette. Out of the three, I would have been happy with any one of the three, but I have two of the three. I have the Life's a Drag and I have the Pure by Barbie, Pure X Barbie, sorry, um, palette. I have those two. So I was kind of looking forward to getting the Smashbox LA Cover Shot um, palette. I did not get not one single palette in my box. This is my box. Not one palette is in there. It came nothing. Instead, what I did get in its place, Opulent Beauty brushes, which were nowhere to even be advertised that they were going to be given away. Except for now, when you go on the website, it's on there, but I, I did not get it. Instead, what I, you know, I did get this. This was the other option, I guess, for the first one. The Pharmacy Honey Potion. Oh, well, there goes one, two of my nails that I couldn't get off. <laughs> I couldn't get off. So this is the Pharmacy Honey Potion Renewing Antioxidant Hydrating Mask. I like it. It's cute, and it has the little spatula that is magnetically, look, just attached to it on the lid of it, and it's wood lid, so I like it. I would have preferred to have gotten one of the palettes instead. I'm not as much into skincare as I am into the makeup. Don't get me wrong, I like skincare. I do skincare. I have plenty of potions and lotions and creams and toners and moisturizers, you name it, I got it. The problem is that I just tend to go towards palettes and makeup more. And again, based on the quiz that you take with BoxyCharm, you would have thought they knew that about me by now. But anyway, that's besides the point. That was my substitution for, have not, for having received um, a palette, I guess. Then the second item was my choice item, which I ended up picking the Becca Luminous Blush Camellia. So this is what it looks like, that's the back. Let me show you the actual one right there. This is it from the outside. It's a small one. And this is the inside, the little insert came out. And this is the blush. I chose this one because the choices that were given to me, again, like I said, I tend to not gravitate towards skincare. So they had either the Coconut Face Cream from Campari or the Peach and Lily the good acids pore toner. I wasn't gonna choose that. I was gonna go with the only makeup item there they had, and which was this. Now they also had other options, but they weren't given to us as options as the second choice item, which was the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow, which I have a few of those, and the Cover Effects Water Cloud Primer. Um, I don't have that one, but I would have picked it if I could either. Now this is the one, the other one that also pissed me off. The third item was a choice between a Natasha Denona blush duo palette, which I was extremely excited about because I don't have but one item from Nat Natasha Denona because it's expensive. It was either that or the Levito Age Away Replenishing Cream. I got the Levito. Why? I just don't get why. That's what it looks like. Age Away Replenishing Cream? What? Because of my age? Maybe they thought that I would want that? Listen, I, I may be up there in age. Let's just leave it at that. But I don't look my age and nor do I feel it, do I act it and I, I mean, I don't look it, so let's just leave it at that. Anyway, I would have preferred the blush that also came in 10 different shade variations, so I, I would have been happy with any of that. And then the fourth item in the box, which uh, was, sorry, I'm trying to read, I'm, I apologize. Um, the Either the IGK, IGK hair, uh, I don't even know what the hell that is, good behavior, 
spirulina protein smoothing spray not big on hair products either and then it was the opulent beauty crystal clear three-piece brush collection which is what i got i'm not that excited about them they feel nice i myself am not really excited about it but they are soft and they're nice and they're just not what I would have chosen, but I guess out of the item four, that was one or the other, and I guess I went with that. However, in this box, I'm supposed to have six to seven items, I believe it is. So nowhere on there was it advertised, but I did get a Wander Beauty Mile High Club Mascara, volume in length mascara. It's nowhere to be found. It's six to seven, so at minimum, it would have been six. So this is my sixth item, but I'm looking for it. I don't see it anywhere. This was never advertised. So, how did I end up with this and not a palette? I was pissed. I'm like, first of all, why would you not give me a palette? I, ju I just don't understand. Where's my palette? That's all I'm saying. Anyway, I think about the brushes, I may just give those away as well in um, a giveaway. So, I'm going to put those to the side. All right, moving on. Let's get past that. Um, I purchased one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items, apparently, um, from the add-on sale so let's start with the palette that i did want and i didn't get living living in color palette from hank and henry this was one of the ones they could have easily put in my box i didn't do that i went ahead and purchased it and this is what it looks like I'm sure you guys might have seen it if you guys are into boxycharm and you know or have your own subscriptions to it okay but i can get it out that'd be great okay so i'm just having difficulties today <laughs> That's what it looks like on the outside. That's the back. But this is somewhere around 30 bucks, I would imagine. And this is what the colors look like. But I only paid, I think, uh, $12 for it. Moving on. Now we got uh, some milk makeup products that I purchased. Let's see what we have here, if it's in here. Oh, better yet, there we go, I did get to the screen. This was only six bucks. And it retails for 27 bucks. So. I think I did great with that one. Um, with the milk makeup, and this is the blur spray, which is I guess kind of like a, a priming spray, and I can't get it open. Here we go. So this is the blur spray, and I'll tell you how much this thing costs in a second when I find it. Uh, this is $28 value. Uh, of course, I didn't pay that much for it. I think I paid, again, six bucks for it. So I also got the milk makeup glitter stick um and that one is uh what is the retail value of that thirty dollars okay, so this is what the glitter stick looks like you unscrew it it has a little safety lid there and you just um try it on and it has the little screw top on the bottom i mean the bottom screw up thing so you, when you're using it you're running out you can pop it up and then last month they had the Too Faced diamond light uh diamond fire highlighter which is this one here and i was so excited i thought i was gonna get it did not <laughs> so um that's what it looks like the packaging on the outside and then you open it up it's supposed to look like i guess um a jewelry like a ring box and it says it's your time to shine and then you get it out and it's its own little box cute little box with the little clasp you see the shape and you open it up and that's what it looks like and this is in fancy pink, the color, the diamond highlighter, and it's value of $36. I paid maybe $12, if that. So, I say I made out pretty good. Another thing I bought was the Wonder uh, Beauty Trip for Two Blush and Bronzer Duo. And let me find the cost of this one. So I decided to go with this one, and this is a $36 value. And again, I probably paid six bucks for it. Then I also got two of the Becca Ultimate Lip Definers. And this is what the packaging looks like. And what color is this one? This one is in Pouty. So this was more of a brown one. Let's see how much these were right here. These were $18 a piece, um, the Ultimate Lip Definer. And then this is what it looks like. It has the little smudger. Oh, damn. Okay, pulled out from there. I didn't mean for that to happen. There we go, this little smudger on one end. So let's see, the reddish one is the other one, which is in the color Playful. At $18, I think I paid like $3 or $4 for these. So that's that, and that's the color Playful. And I think that's it for the items that I purchased um, from the add-on sale. So all in all, I think I have a lot of stuff here that I can uh, create a look with. So I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, creating a look. I didn't have a, a foundation in here, so I'm just gonna go ahead off, off camera, 
put on a foundation and do my eyebrows because none of these are brow products and come back and play with the rest of the stuff so be back all right bombshells i hope you had fun watching this video as i did making it now let's get into the details of the giveaway to enter my very first cherry Lux beauty giveaway all you have to do is like this video subscribe to my channel and drop a comment down below in the comments i'd like it if you choose box number one two or three because i will have three winners so i will be getting into the details of the box in right now but the winners will be selected in part two of this video where i have the full face using the boxy charm items in part two of this video i will be announcing the names of the three winners in my very first cherry Lux beauty giveaway don't forget to leave your preferences down below in the comments in the meantime let's get into the boxes box one using the boxes just to show you what's inside okay first item box one is the becca hydra mist set and refresh powder second item is the opulent beauty brush set the three part brush set big fluffy brushes with clear handles let's put that there okay item number three is the renew intensive skin therapy item number four is the milk to foam coconut milk pure mild cleanser Item number five, Elemis Superfood Vital Veggie Mask. Item number six is the Ades High Definition Liquid Lipstick. And it's in a brownie, beigey color. Doesn't have a name, but let me show you. Item Number seven is the Zoeva in taupe palette. And the last item, which is item number eight, will be the Creme Shop Charcoal Almond Fusion Sheet Mask. So that's it for box number one. Okay, moving on to box number two. Another BoxyCharm box. And in here we have the Butter London palette, the Wonder Beauty Lift Off Purifying and Brightening Peel Off Mask, the Ahara Dead Sea Water Mineral Hand Cream, the Wonder Beauty Mile High Club Volume and Length Mascara. Alamar Cosmetics Colorit Blush Trio. And let's see. And this is item number six the Rodeo Roda, Rodeo Stem Cell Cleansing Cream. Okay. Item number seven is the BH Liquid Linen Lipstick. And I don't know what color this is either. And the last item is a Sephora Lingzi mask for anti-aging and smoothing. Now that you've seen the items in box number two, I will be getting into box number three in a minute, but I need to have you guys leave a comment below with your preferences in either box number one that I showed you previously or box number two, and now box number three that's coming up. So comment down below which box is your favorite. Now we're going into box number three. This one's a regular box. I can't show you too much because it has my info on it, but <laughs> I'm just using it for the storage purposes. Okay. First thing I pull out is the Creme Shop Vitamin C Infused Face Mask. Second item I have is the Bare Minerals Prep Step Broad Spectrum SPF 50 Mineral Shield Daily Prep Lotion. For the next item, I have a Vine 8-Hour Sleeping Mask. 
The next item I have is the Juice Beauty, the Organic Solution Phyto Pigments Liquid Lip. And this is in the color 06 Ju. And this is what it looks like. And this is like a peachy color. The next item I have is the Eye Luster Creme Eyeshadow by Ciate. And the color is Cupid. So it looks like a purpley pink color with gold reflex, gold glitter. Oh god, I can't get it back in the box. The next item I have is the Glam Glow Gentle Bubble Daily Conditioning Cleanser. The next item I have is the Luxie Gaia three-piece brush set. And the last item I have is the Ace Beauty Grandiose Palette. So those are all the items in box number three. Okay, so now that you've seen the items in all three of the boxes, don't forget to like my video, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment down below with your preference in boxes. The winners of this contest, of this giveaway, will be announced in part two of this video that will be coming out on Monday. So be sure to check back on that video. In the meantime, that's it for now. Don't miss out the opportunity to get in the giveaway and get, earn a box. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, bombshells.